Max. Ambient temperature, 7, 7 degrees. Out. So Mike, can you tell us a little bit about how you specifically incorporate Amtrak onto the Southwestern Pacific? The Southwestern Pacific it tries to be a holistic railroad setting and operation and environment. And so the parts of the Western railroads that I find most interesting all have Amtrak trains on them. Mm -hmm. So I could not model Amtrak. So they're here because they're out there in the world. And so I try to, the fun I have with Amtrak is as I step back through the years, I change the paint scheme or the phases of Amtrak c colors right. and the rolling stock. Uh, if you, you were here before when we had the P-42 locomotives in the Shamu the Whale paint style. Uh -huh. Well, this is too early. That hasn't happened yet in 1992. So we have the, the three stripe Amtrak style. So as I go backwards in history, it'll be a lot of fun to go to the phase when they had the heritage equipment. In other words, the old Pullman standard and Bud passenger cars painted in Amtrak colors. And then what they called the rainbow era, which is before they'd gotten around to painting them. So you have yellow Union Pacific and green Northern Pacific and uh, silver and red Southern Pacific cars mixed in with a few Amtrak colors. So watching the years unfold, by changing the rolling stock is part of the game. Right. Uh, an example of that is this uh, St. Patrick Union Station. When I started, I had a contemporary Amtrak sign mm. on the roof. Well, that style came with Shamu the Whale, so it's no longer here and I have the old pointless arrow as the Amtrak sign and a little more humble. But anyway, so just as a kind of a thing that changes. By the way, anybody who hasn't seen that Union Station travel by train, that is actually the Denver Union Station sign. Okay, okay. So, and, then, and again, this is just what I see out in the world and try to make it happen here. Now, what year is that going to change? As you're going backwards, when does that change again? Uh, the Union Station, I think, changes... Uh, there's no other Amtrak stylistic changes. The rolling stock would change, of course, uh -huh. but it would that sign would get taken down and I'd put up a Southern Pacific and a Santa Fe and a Burlington Northern logo for pre Amtrak. Okay. One, uh, one little uh, Amtrak staging scenic exercise here at Paseo is to make sure that the Amtrak station sides are the correct era. Also, when the layout steps back in time, there will be a center platform between these two tracks. Uh, back in the days when they ran several passenger trains a day, you really couldn't live with a single platform. It, it's, you always have to put the passenger train on this track. If you've got two platforms, you've got the flexibility of a passenger train on either track, and so freight trains can get past, and the, uh, you can do station work off either side. Working with Amtrak or with Southern Pacific, you learn some safety regulations. And you might think about this operating your model railroad at home. You never pass a train between a stop passenger train and the station. If, if, in other words, if I stopped a passenger train on this train here, no freight train can come through until this passenger train has closed its doors and started to leave and everybody's out of the way. You can't cut between the station and the passenger train.
One more little Amtrak detail of the layout is I keep a few extra cars around and occasionally we will run a special train or a local train or maybe a fan trip when here's some Horizon and Metroliner coaches and a Superdome. I actually have seen and ridden on these Superdomes as lounge cars on the Surfliner between Los Angeles and San Diego, and they were some of the nicest rides you could get along the Pacific Ocean in that Superdome. And millennials were up in the tables under this glass looking at the world, working their laptops, and I figured they couldn't have bought an office like that for a million dollars and there they were just riding along enjoying the ride so I personally have had some fun with that car. So Mike, we noticed that you have uh, lights and people inside some of the Amtrak train uh, cars. Did you do that? That's a customization? The, uh, I went and purchased interiors for some of the cars, others the factory provided them. I forget who did what. I think Walters can sell you additional uh, interiors. But I thought as I watched trains go by, you sort of see people, especially if they're close to the window. So I would put some people that you could see in the coaches in particular, and I would also close some windows with pieces of tissue paper because a lot of passengers want to shut out the sunlight. The most fun is the Viewliner lounge car with all this glass, and I put people in most of the seats up there because if you make a trip on a lot of long distance Amtrak trains, you have to almost fight for space in these seats. They're very, very popular and a gorgeous way to see anything from the Pacific Coast to Glacier National Park, or just in my case, to watch the railroad go by. The dining car has actually, I added, a low level of lighting to the dining car in daylight conditions like this is almost invisible if you watch an Amtrak train go by the windows are so heavily tinted it's hard to see people in there at night that same level of illumination is quite satisfying and to do that I took the die cast tables and added little bits of plastic for plates and so forth and put people at a few of the seats and the way Amtrak runs these dining cars now, they stack supplies on a couple of the tables just to keep people from sitting there so they don't have as many customers to worry about as, uh, shall we say, a management challenge. But anyway, so I have had a lot of fun with the, with the dining car. I have friends who worked in food service in passenger trains through their career and sent them a couple of pictures. He wanted to know what the pattern of the silverware was. So I knew I had gotten in way too deep. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> the last thing to talk about people in passenger cars, there's a lady in one of the downstairs bedrooms of the sleeping car who is smoking a cigarette. And I've been waiting for three years for the conductor to catch her and throw her off the train, but it hasn't happened yet, so she's still riding around in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs>